I either really hate money or love the electric turbo concept because what I've gone and done makes about as much sense as ordering a chicken fried steak medium rare. I went ahead and bought this 75300 VSC. Let's unbox it. Alright, so I got this thing from Trampa Boards. Uh, they're a UK company. Ordering from them is a little challenging if you live in the States because they have kind of limited payment options, but we got that straightened out. This is actually a used unit which they offered me a reasonable discount for. And I figured, well, it's rated at 75 volts and 300 amps. That's the 75300. But let's start digging into this thing and I'll regale you with the tale of why I bought it. So I bought this thing because, you know, I mean, we're, we're going to be drawing way more power than uh, what this thing can deliver, especially with, well, the other ESC that I ordered, which is coming with a motor. It's an LMT 3100 motor. Well, this knife is a bit dull, huh? And that motor is good for 53 horsepower which means 42,000 RPM comes at 550 amps at 50 volts. This obviously can't support that, but if you noticed my last unboxing video of the P2 supercharger, you will notice that now I have will have all the parts to make a second unit which should be capable of supporting at least 650 horsepower. And that's what this guy's for. In fact, the motor's just out of frame, right here. All right. Let's pull this bad boy out. Now, if the MGM controller that's on its way with the big motor is a sledgehammer, this is really more of a scalpel. Their engineer, Frank, did a really good job of illustrating the many benefits of a VESC. And that's what this guy looks like. So again, it's developed by, uh, I keep wanting to say Eddie Vetter, but I think his name is actually Benjamin Vetter. Uh, he developed this really, really high-tech way of controlling motors which involves feedback so apparently there's no timing and uh, the engineer at Trampa Boards which is Frank who works with uh, this uh, Vetter guy um, gave me like this whole tutorial over the internet which was just amazing and that really sold me on hey I really want to play with this thing so even though this thing is used it actually looks quite new it's a nice case as the warranty void if removed and Three sets of four square millimeter cable. Let's take a closer look. All right, so here we can clearly see that it's made by, designed by Benjamin Vetter. This is a circuit board on top. So there's a sense inputs, auxiliary, there's a USB connector, there's a CAN bus, which is nice. Uh, there's a uh, PPM, not really sure. Uh, there's a bunch of listings for LEDs. Blue is power, green dim is SW running, green bright is driving, so I presume that's software running versus driving. Red is a fault code. There's an X, do not connect. Permanent damage may result. So we don't want permanent damage, that'd be bad. These three power connectors, I believe, are connected in parallel internally. Uh, it's, it's actually kind of a smart move because dealing with really, really heavy cables is problematic. Um, so, you know, we're going to figure out a way with these XT90 connectors to connect it. And, you know, so what are you going to do with this thing? Yeah, you know, I was kind of thinking about that. But with the P2 supercharger, with uh, the TP power motor and this controlling it, we could try running it off of those massive uh, LTO packs that I built. Uh, that would result in a draw of like 850 amps. Um, or in that ballpark. Hopefully the batteries can support that. I don't see why they wouldn't if you remember the last failure which resulted in this lovely puddle of aluminum being formed. Not only my garage, ugh, but my entire house smells of burnt electronic pixies. 
So this unit has supposedly, I believe Frank told me that it has 900 amps worth of MOSFETs in it, even though they only rated at 75,300. And also the 75 rating uh, is the voltage rating, but he said you really want to stay at least eight volts under that because of voltage spike issues. So we're going to, you know, probably be running around 63 volts. I have to pull two cells out of my big LTO packs because that's simply the limit of the MGM unit. And uh, current shouldn't be a problem. Again, you know, I think we've got plenty. I think we've proved that in spades between the, the load testing, the stick welding, and then that epic failure that we had. So hopefully we'll have enough. And if we do that, well, that's going to be compound boost. That may put us towards that uh, magical 1,000 horsepower mark uh, if we go that route. I may end up putting this on something else. This may become a test bed. They are getting ready to release a much larger unit, which is good for at least 600 amps. It's double the MOSFETs. That could actually drive it. But since they didn't have it available at the time when I ordered this, and I know you and me and everybody has been waiting to just, you know, come on, what's the holdup? Let's get moving on this thing. So that's basically the idea. So here's what a 75300 VESC from Trampa Boards looks like. The next thing coming up as far as the electric turbo is concerned, the Learning Technic motor with the MGM controller is coming in. We'll make a new mount for that. We will adapt this guy probably via belt drive scooch it over uh, probably via belt drive to the p2 supercharger which should perform very similarly to the vortex i'm using now we probably will not be using the water cooling i'm finding out that was uh kind of unnecessary uh and uh yeah there's a lot of stuff coming up so don't forget to subscribe ring the bell and i'll catch you all in the next one